Benjamin Gilmore, Kabocos Honey and Bee Products. Um, we keep bees, we, we provide beekeeping equipment, and we sell honey. Well, I we started Kabocos Honey and Bee Products first with opening up a small shop in front of my apartment. Um, that was the first year and it went pretty well. But then I wanted to get bigger and get my own actual retail shop. Um, so we closed up and just went straight online for a year. Uh, saved up the money and then found this place. Uh, had my eye on it for a few years and decided to um, remodel it and open up. Honey is probably the number one um, revenue generator for Beehive. The going rate for honey can really uh, vary greatly by the variety of honey and also the region. Um, it, you, know, you can check the USDA National Honey Report, which gives a general price of, your, of honey in, in different areas from Intermountain or the West or Central or East. Um, but their, their, their data can be limited. Um, and, and the bulk honey prices can be set by just a couple of large buyers. Uh, so when it comes to your own small batch local honey, uh, really the best way to do it is just figure out your own expense and time and decide what you need personally need out of it. Um, <clears throat> but a going rate for, for about a, a quart of honey wildflower is around $30. For commercial guys, generally pollination services is number two, um, but that's only if you have a large enough number of hives to actually provide those services to growers. For a small hobbyist beekeeper, I'd say lotions and lip balms are probably number two. Um, you can make some really good lotions and cosmetics with, with beeswax. From there, I'd say candles, depending on the season. They don't sell too well in the summer, but in the fall and the spring, they tend to sell a lot better. Um, but you don't generally produce too much wax from a beehive. So you're going to be limited to more making lip balms and using that beeswax as an additive for lotions instead. So if you're interested in starting your, selling your honey, uh, one of the first things I did was bottle my honey, put it in a box, and just started pounding the pavement, going business to business, um, selling my honey. In fact, one of the first customers I had was um, a co local coffee shop, and that c coffee shop is still a customer of mine today. Once you get through the farmer's markets, um, selling to, to everyone you can online and through word of mouth, um, really that brick and mortar store and, and selling into the local shops is, is the way to go. I found the way to get into the local stores was to contact the grocery manager. And once you can, you contact the grocery manager, you can t tell them about your products, what you have, um, and whether or not they, they'd like to carry it on their shelves and make room. I found with Albertsons, now Safeway, um, and Lucky's Market, they, they actually like to carry some local products in their shops. Um, the same with Ace Hardware. Starting beekeeping, it's really important you start with the right reasons. So many beekeepers want to get it out of, into it for helping the bees or um, to save the world even. Um, and I find these reasons why they're very uh, altruistic. Um, they don't quite align with what the bees are interested in. And these are honeybees. So I find that when people actually get in to beekeeping for the honey and they align their goals with the bees goal is to gather as much honey as they can, then they tend to do much better. So what that means when it comes to harvesting honey is you have to make sure that, first of all, that your bees are in a great area and have good forage. Sometimes bees will be stuck on a lot of mono forage. And so if you just leave them their honey and nothing else to eat, um, sometimes that can be detrimental to their health actually. Because honey, bees don't eat honey, they actually eat nectar. So they have to dehydrate that nectar in order to actually to eat it through their winter. Because honey is their food storage that allows them to survive from year to year. So it's important that either you leave them enough of enough variety of honey that they've, they've stored, or that you supplement their feed going into winter 
But this all the course depends on whether you keep bees in the south or if you keep bees in the further north. My vision for Capoco's Honey and Bee Products is to continue to be the, the best um, source for local beekeeping information and beekeeping products um, or products from beekeeping and to be able to take that knowledge and that expertise hopefully on a global scale.